Dublin station, and English-born actor John Hurt is in search of his Irish roots. Family legend has it that his great-grandmother was the illegitimate daughter of an Irish lord. And now John wants to find out if this is true. We're going to see my brother, Michael. He has a, a much greater knowledge of uh, our ancestry than I do. John Hurt and his elder brother Michael grew up near Grimsby with their adopted sister Monica. Born in Shirebrook, Derbyshire in 1940, John was the youngest child of Phyllis Massey and Arnold Hurt. He studied at Grimsby Art College before leaving for London to train as an actor at RADA in the early 60s. John's 40-year career in the film business has included some memorable roles such as his highly acclaimed performance as the Elephant Man, which won him a British Academy Award and an Oscar nomination. That's my mother and my, my, my father uh, on the set in Ireland, actually, of Simple Davy, which is a film that I did for John Hughes. My father was a Church of England clergyman. My mother was, therefore, a Church of England clergyman's wife. I'm not sure that that's what she always wished to be. I've always felt that she would love to have been an actress. My father was quite stubborn about um, what he believed, and he was quite stubborn about what he would have said. It made it very difficult, I found, to have any open conversation, because he knew that a lot of it would be refuted before you even started. John first came to Ireland 40 years ago to act on the Dublin stage. The minute I put one foot in Dublin, I said home. It was quite anarchic and I enjoyed every bit of it. I don't know that I ever thought that it was because uh, it was in my blood as such, or whether I responded to things Irish and people Irish. He's keen to visit his brother, Michael, who lives here at Glenstall Abbey in Western Ireland. Glenstall is a Benedictine monastery, and Michael, who has followed his father into the church, is one of 50 monks who live here. Good, good to see you. And you too. Uh, so you're exploring things. Yeah. Finding out. I'm hoping you've got some answers. Yeah, well, I know some things, but the trouble is, it's an awful lot of just conjecture, you know, that's the difficulty. There's yeah. some facts, but there's an awful yeah. lot of conjecture. Well, that's the trouble. I have to see whether I believe come in? that completely. <laughs> All right, OK. okay. <clears throat> Michael was, was a fantastic older brother, really was. When I was 16 and he was 23, we used to hike together. I don't think that there are that many older brothers that would be that good, you know, and he was terrific. He was marvellous. Stone soldier. Oh, yes, <laughs> he's known as Pierre, the soldier. Pierre. We're quite disparate in many ways, but uh, we can always pick up exactly where we left off. Knowing that you knew a great deal more than I did, uh, because you have got, we've gone through this to a certain degree, <laughs> mm. though I know there's a lot of mystery as well. Um, but I just wondered about our great grandmother. Gee, this, this is her now. Ay, ay, ay. Her name was Emma Stafford. The story that passed down through the family is she, Emma Stafford, was actually the illegitimate daughter of the um, Marquis of Sligo. That's the story that, uh, that was passed on through the women of the family, and the men were not told this because it was too delicate. Well, but we don't know that there's any real connection. Well, she was a ward of chancery. And th th that always means money. So she wasn't the daughter of a kitchen maid. Oh, I see, yes. And she married somebody called Walter Lord Brown. The Lord not being a title, it was a second name. But anyway, in Grimsby, where they lived, Walter Lord Brown built this school, uh, which he called Westport House School. It's Marquis of Sligo, lives at Westport House in Mayo. 
It's oh, extraordinary. It can't be coincidence. I mean, it <laughs> doesn't sound like no. it. No. Yeah. But how can we? I wonder how we can find out about that. You might be able to find out more going to Westport House itself and, uh, and get in touch with the current Marquis. The only snag is, of course, that because Emma was illegitimate, it may have been carefully covered up for all we know. The origin of John and Michael's descent from Irish nobility goes back three generations to their illegitimate great-grandmother, Emma Stafford, who family legend claims was fathered by a Marquis of Sligo. <laughs> <laughs>